Welcome to part two of our rocket altitude calculator. Part two, we're going to be setting up our variables and we're going to be programming the calculator to work. First thing you should do always, uh, once you have all of your components in and you're going to start setting up the blocks, you want to connect to either your emulator or the phone. So I've already connected. I've got my emulator up and I can see it. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do next, you want to go to the blocks, and we're going to set up our variables, okay, and they're going to be global variables. You want to go under where it says variables here, and choose where it says initial global name to, and we're going to use the math block. We're going to set the math block up to zero, and you want to connect it. And what we're going to do, I'm going to copy and paste this. So control C and then control V like Valentine to paste. And you want eight of them. Okay. So we're going to create a variable for each of the properties in our formula or each of the, the things. So like the altitude. So we're going to set altitude. So we'll have a global variable altitude. We're going to have a global variable distance. You'll have a variable called ratio A1. And ratio A2. And then you'll have W, X, Y and Z. And all of these are inside of our formula that we use to calculate altitude. Okay? So altitude, distance, ratio A1, ratio A2, W, X, Y, and Z. And we have them all set to zero. And when we start our calculations, uh, this will make a little more sense, but basically we're just setting it to zero when we do our calculation we'll give it an exact value okay so to calculate our our uh, value we have a button set up so we want to go to the calculate button when the calculate button is clicked we want it to do these things okay so we're gonna set first thing we're gonna do is we are going to set the distance so you're going to go to the distance text box. Or I'm sorry, we'll go here to distance. Set global distance to. And then we'll set it to the value of the text box. So under distance text box, you want to find the one that says distance text box dot text. right here distance text box dot text so what that means is whatever is inside of the distance text box that will be the distance variable so whatever's typed in here that's the value we're gonna do that same thing for ratio a1 and a2 so if you hover your cursor over this box you want to get the block that says set global ratio A1 and then you'll go to the ratio A1 text box and you'll find the ratio A1 text box dot text. We'll do the same thing for ratio A2. Ratio A2 text box ratio a2 text box dot text next thing we're going to do is set up w x y and z so I'm going to bring out those blocks set global 2 for each of those so w is actually equal to ratio a1 text box so I'm going to select that and copy and paste it with control C and control V. X is equal to the distance times ratio A1. So I'm going to go up to math 
and I'm going to get the multiplication. And I want to get the distance text box. So I'm going to copy and paste it. And I'm going to get the ratio A1 text box and copy and paste it. The Y is equal to ratio A2 text box. So I'm going to copy and paste that. And then Z is equal to the distance text box times ratio A2. So I'm actually going to copy this one. And I'm going to take out ratio A1, delete it. And I'm going to copy ratio A2 text box and paste it in there. And underneath that is a longer one that we're going to calculate. We have to set the altitude. So we're going to get, go up here, and altitude. And we're going to set altitude to. And we're going to get All right, so when we set up our altitude, it's a little tricky, so I'm going to go through it a little bit at a time. First thing you want to do is go to math, and let's get the minus. And we, what we want to do is we want to get the x. So get global x minus global z. Okay, so we'll have that block set up. I'm just going to move it to the side here. We also want to have... Um, W plus Y. So we'll get the plus sign. So we'll do W plus Y. Alright. Our next move is to get the divide sign. So under math, let's get the divide. And we're going to put these together. So we'll put that on the first block slot or socket and that one on the second one, okay? Uh, our next move is to get the multiplication. And we are going to get global W on the end here, and then we're gonna put this block on that first socket. And then our last move is to get a subtract. And we'll plug it in there. And this one's going to be in that second socket. And in the first socket, we're going to get x. And basically, what we've just set up is your formula for altitude. Okay. The last thing we need to do is set up our result label. So we're going to get go to uh, set result label dot text. And we need to call a make text box. Okay, so our last part, we're going to set the result label text um, to work here. So we're going to go to result label and select set result label text to and we're going to go up to math or actually text here you want to select join and under text you also want to select this this will allow us to fill in what we want so we're going to put the altitude is put in that and then we're going to go under math here and we're going to select format as a decimal format as a decimal and then our number I've already done it down here our number is going to be the altitude so get global altitude let's drag it down there and then the number of places is going to be the number two so we'll put in zero Type in a 2 there. All right. And then in your emulator, I've already typed it in just to make sure it works here. For the distance, you want to type in 100. 
and you want to use the, the numbers on the top of the keyboard. If you try using your number key, it doesn't work. Ratio A1, try out 1.192, and ratio A2, 1.664. And when you do that and you hit the calculate altitude, you should see it says the altitude is, and then it'll say 138.9. If you get that, you've done it correctly. If not, you need to go back and check your math and your variables, what's set up for each. Okay, But at this point, if you have that, go ahead and show me and I'll give you 100 for it, and then you'll be done. Thank you.